I mean, it's a big responsibility. They wake up in the middle of the night, sometimes more than once. You gotta be there all the time. Have you guys thought all about this? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think about your son and me adopting a child? My heart is so full. She has to listen to Brown. <laughs> so, have you decided if you want a boy or a girl? I don't know, Michael, what do you think? I think what you think. She says the doctor's gonna give me a sonogram tomorrow. What's that? Um, I just like this x-ray. I just like to see if it's retarded. Our boy. You don't think I'd let you give my baby to just anyone, do you? Your baby? Yeah, the baby that's yours and mine. It's their baby. Lucy didn't tell us much about your background. <laughs> I had one. Can we borrow the car? Okay, let's have it. Your most paranoid fantasy. I don't want to talk about it. They disappear with the baby in the car, only stopping long enough to rip off a few convenience stores on the way home with a sawed-off shotgun. Am I getting close? I don't appreciate this, Michael. And we end up on Geraldo Rivera as the most gullible couple in America. So, you and Michael have been married for ten years? How do you do it? I don't know, I guess, uh, respect and affection and a lot of laughs. And only one person gets to be crazy at a time. Right now, it's my turn. I feel something. Hey? Uh, Michael Spector. Lucy Moore. Moore. When's your due date? Now. Obviously, her due date is like this no, minute. November 2nd. Is this your first baby? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what are you going to ask her next? Like, your sign? She's a Sagittarius. Who are you? The parents. Miss Moore's parents? The baby's parents. Eve 1928. The Jazz Age is in full swing. And tonight, you are invited to an elegant evening. Come on in, gents. Welcome. Of high spirits. Love. Broken hearts. And murder. What caused that nasty stain on his shirt? Seems a bullet got into his body somehow. You rub shoulders with regret. God, you're beautiful. Lovey Lou. Some men conduct themselves like animals. Harriet Mikhail. Let's take it on the land to the Riviera for a while. The Brain. What's the name, Sunshine? Fort Dance Hathaway. Dance? Sure. Get a job. Handsome Jack. Even society danger is red hot for me. Mizzou. You like it? Uh, nasty? And Feet Samuels. I'm miserable in love with you, Hordy. And what a night this is turning into. When stars appear. Come and enjoy lots of laughs. Do you always carry weenies with you? A little romance. I know 24 hours, half a over in Hackensack, where you don't even need a blood test. And a slight case oh. of murder. I'm telling you guys, it was a stabbing, not a shooting. Oh, an expert. It's the last big blowout of the jazz age. Bloodhounds of Broadway. The biggest star of 1989 Help! was also the smallest. Who are you? Mikey had quite a year. What a sweetie. These things come in different sizes? What are these, jumbos? But now, his family's planning a little surprise. Oh! Oh, really? Mikey's getting a baby sister. Oh, no. Who'd you expect? Tinkerbell? And his life will never be the same. Boy, I gotta think about getting my own place. John Travolta. Don't hit girls, even if they're asking for it. What do you say about pushing them? Kirstie Alley. Mikey, no, no, don't do that. What'd I do? And the voices of Bruce Willis. Yeah, right back at you, babe. Mm. Roseanne Barr. What a slime bar. Hey. And Richard Pryor as Mikey's best friend. Oh, I heard that song before, pal. What a crack up. <laughs> Look who's talking to, coming soon.
Here we go. I don't want to have to kill you. Don't you threaten me, Drum Edenton. Drum would never, ever point a gun at a lady. Your husband is a boil on the butt of humanity. TriStar Pictures presents a Raystar production. Now, this is it. You're finally rid of me. Sally Field. Oh. I think you'd be back every now and then. Dolly Parton. How's your family? Louie brought his girlfriend home, and the nicest thing I can say about her is all of her tattoos are spelled correctly. Oh, I'm just weird. Weird. Ugh, leave me alone. Shirley MacLaine. I'm not crazy, Malin. I've just been in a very bad mood for 40 years. Daryl Hannah. Miss Drew, I swear to you that my personal tragedy will not interfere with my ability to do good hair. Olympia Dukakis. Looks like two pigs fighting on the blanket. <laughs> Julia Roberts. I'm going to make you very happy. I want a child of my own. Your poor body has been through so much. Why would you deliberately do this to you? Diabetics have healthy babies all the you time. You are special, Shelby. Time has made them close. Life. She's going to have a baby. Go get it. Has made them friends. <laughs> Steel Magnolias. In An American Tale, he gave us a memorable mouse. Then, in The Land Before Time, he brought us some delightful dinosaurs. Now, director Don Bluth unleashes his most extraordinary adventure ever. All dogs go to heaven. Oh, you can't keep a good dog now. Wow, 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 wow. You can't keep a good dog now. Wow, 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 wow. The nightman we own in this town. You can't keep a good dog now. Anybody here order a pizza? Pizza! Starring some of the cuddliest canines you'll ever come across. Mine. And a little girl with a very big heart. Hey! I want you kids to meet a very, very special guest, Anne Marie. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm an orphan. <gasps> She's an orphan. She doesn't have any parents. Awesome. So stay with me. One's pet. The more you give, the more you're gonna get. It's a story of magic, mischief, and music. <laughs> Together. I live with Charlie. He's my dog. We are birds of a feather. Featuring the voices of Don DeLuise. Try that again, you, and you are glue. Lonnie Anderson. Gosh, how these little guys love you. And Burt Reynolds. Hey, easy, easy. Will you help me find a mommy and daddy? I promise. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> All dogs go to heaven because nothing warms a heart. Like a cold nose. <laughs> this is the last year we throw trash. Just think of the garbage business as a way station on the road to Nevada. Carl and James know all about you. You have broken just about every city ordinance that pertains to this line of work. Aww. From the intimate secrets. It's a bra, James. To the grossest details. Let's do the nasty. Nasty! nasty. They're looking for a good time. Hello. Carl, oh, what are you doing? It's the principal, James. Oh, with, with a pellet gun? But sometimes... Butcha. When you're just gunning for a little trashy fun, things can get deadly. What is it, Carl? Looks like somebody threw away a perfectly good white boy. We lost the body. What is the, uh, the maximum sentence for murder? Hey, relax. We didn't lose the body. He looks friggin' dead. I could haul you in, you know. What the hell do you mean you've lost the body? Oh, you like your stupid pellet gun! I can find the fighter! Yeah. Charlie Sheen. What was that for? Emilio Estevez. <laughs> Man at work. If anything funny happens, don't be too shy to scream.
You don't have to be beautiful. For all of you who've been wondering what our first contact with an alien would be like. I just need your body. Whether a visitor from another planet would be friendly. You don't intelligent. To turn me out. Eager to communicate. Leave it all up to me. Or maybe I even have superhuman want. powers. At last, there is a movie that will satisfy your curiosity. Dan Aykroyd, Kim Basinger. My Stepmother is an Alien, a comedy of cosmic proportions. city is about to pay for the nastiness of its inhabitants. When that day comes, when the slime starts to rise, the Titanic just arrived. When ghosts start arriving by the boatload, we gotta find the guys. There's only one thing to do. Sometimes weird things happen. Someone has to deal with it. And who are you going to call? All right, suck in the cuts, guys, with the Ghostbusters. The superstars of the supernatural are back to nuke the spooks. Two in the box. Ready to go. Can you be fast and they be slow. Make some time. Don't put any of those old cheap moves on me. No, no, no. no. Different. I have all new cheap moves. Raise your spirits. If we don't do something by midnight, you will be remembered in history as the man who let New York get sucked down into the tenth level of hell. And kick some slime. It looks like a giant jello mold. I hate jello. Oh, come on. There's always room for jello. Happy New Year. Close them. Ghostbusters 2. You're short. Your belly button sticks out too far, and you're a terrible burden on your poor mother. Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Sigourney Weaver, Harold Ramis, Rick Moranis, and Ernie Hudson in an Ivan Reitman film. Ghostbusters 2. We're the best, we're the beautiful, we're the only Ghostbusters. We're back! Who you gonna call? Whenever you rent or buy a video, you need to be sure that the film you choose is suitable for the audience at home. To help you, there are certificates given to films which tell you broadly what the film is like. This film has been classified 15, which means it's unsuitable for anyone younger than that. It's an offence for a shop to supply a 15 video to anyone below that age, so don't ask them to break the law. 15 films may have a fairly adult theme, or contain scenes of sex, violence or drugs, which, while not particularly graphic, are unsuitable for younger teenagers. They may also contain sexual swear words. Video certificates are there to give you the chance to make an informed choice. They allow you to have peace of mind and be entertained. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the film.